Welcome to AWS Cloud Architecting. In this module, we are going to have a look to the cost objectives and to the overview, and then we will study the cafe business case that we will use in our practical lab and challenge labs. To begin, it is very important to have an understanding of the prerequisite for this course. You should complete by now the AWS Cloud Practitioner course or similar level of knowledge of Amazon Web Services such as you passed the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Certificate Exam or you completed the Cloud Practitioner Essential course or you completed the AWS Technical Essential course. In addition to that, we would like you to have a generic IT knowledge and IT business knowledge. In this course, The Solution Architect, we are going to study 15 modules. We will start by an introduction about cloud architecting. Then we will study how we can add to the cafe business a storage layer, a compute layer, a database layer, and how we can create our networking environment in AWS and how we can manage to connect multiple VPCs in the cloud. Then we will look to securing user and application access implementing an elastic and highly available architecture and automate your architecture using a cloud formation. Then we will look to caching content and building decoupled architecture and microservices and serverless computing. In module 14, we are going to do a planning for disaster and we will take multiple exercises and labs in order to study how we can build highly available and highly scalable fault tolerant architecture. In the last module, we are going to look at the certification process. So the cafe business use case that we are going to use to build all the exercises lab and guided and challenge lab are based about a fictional business case. This business case provides us a way to explore the cloud computing services and to build for real in the cloud. This scenario is intended to provide an example of the real world application of technical concepts that you will learn. Frank and Martha opened the cafe and a bakery that they had its start from a retirement dream. They were not yet ready to live out their retirement around the house. Instead, they wanted to do something that included their love of baking and supplemented their income. They enjoy interacting with people in their neighborhood and they also like to support the community events across town with their baked goods and cafes. Frank and Martha recently decided to open their cafe at the base of their flat. Their daughter Sophia and a local school student Nickel help out and work at the cafe. Since they opened the cafe they have experienced an increase in local businesses and they also sometimes receive an inquiries from people who travel through the area. So the cafe owner and the staff, we have Frank the co-owner, we have the Martha of the co-owner of the cafe, we have Sophia the daughter of Frank and Martha, and Nickel we have the cafe employee. We have also Olivia, which is an AWS solution architect who recently moved to the downtown area and she frequently visits the cafe and enjoying talking with Sophia. And they will start to elevate the technical architecture of the cafe based on adding multiple layers to make the cafe website and store highly available and highly scalable. We have also Matteo, which is a system administrator and an engineer. And we have Faith, which is a developer experience with AWS programming interface. In the coming lab and exercises, you will gain a hands on a practice of building an AWS services and there will have two different types of lab. We will have the guided lab and the challenges lab. In the guided lab, they provide you with a step-by-step -step instruction. We will provide you with a step-by-step -step instruction to help you gain experience in creating and configuring AWS resources in the different AWS services area. And the challenge lab will present you with a new business requirement that are based on the evolving needs of the cafe. Both labs the challenge and the guided lab they will enhance your technical skills you will be able to explore more about aws services and you will train yourself to build in the cloud this course helps you to prepare for the aws certified solution architect associate exam so after you did the foundational level the cloud practitioner and you must have for example by now the cloud practitioner it is the time for you to move forward and to study for the solution architect exam. Let us move now to study the well-architected framework. 